Have you ever pondered the effects of pornography on your brain? Is it just harmless adult entertainment? Or is there more to it? In our society, pornography is often brushed off as a private matter, a guilty pleasure, a harmless pastime. But what if I told you that there's more than meets the eye? That the unseen impact it has on our brains might be more profound than we think. Let's take a moment to consider the story of Phineas Gage. You might be wondering who he is. Well, he was a railroad worker in the 19th century who survived a severe brain injury. The incident drastically changed his personality and behavior, turning him from a responsible, well-liked man to a temperamental, unreliable individual. His story is a stark reminder of how brain damage can lead to significant personality changes. Now you might be thinking, what does this have to do with pornography? Well, the docu-series Brain Heart World draws an intriguing parallel between the case of Phineas Gage and the impact of pornography on the brain. Just like how Gage's brain injury led to dramatic changes in his life, continuous exposure to pornography can also lead to physical changes in the brain. These changes can then affect our mood, personality, and relationships, much like what happened to Gage. You see, the brain is a malleable organ, constantly adapting and evolving based on our experiences and exposures. When we repeatedly expose ourselves to explicit content, we are essentially training our brains to react in a certain way. And over time, this can become a deeply ingrained pattern. This pattern, in turn, can lead to addiction, much like how one can become addicted to substances like alcohol or drugs. And just like with any addiction, overcoming pornography addiction is no easy feat. It takes perseverance, support, and a deep understanding of the underlying issues at play. Just as a physical injury can affect the brain, so too can exposure to certain types of content. And this is just the tip of the iceberg. You may be wondering, how does this apply to me? Well, let's hear from those who have experienced it firsthand. Our first story comes from John, a recovering addict. John's addiction began innocently enough, a curious teenager with unrestricted access to the internet. Over time, his casual curiosity escalated into a daily necessity, affecting his mood, personality, and relationships. The addiction became a hidden part of his life, causing him to withdraw from friends and family, and leading to a constant feeling of shame and guilt. Next, we hear from Sarah, who started using pornography as an escape from the pressures of life. However, she soon found that the temporary relief it offered was followed by feelings of emptiness and loneliness. The addiction began to influence her self-esteem and her ability to form meaningful relationships. It took a toll on her emotionally, causing a downward spiral into depression and anxiety. And then there's Mike, whose addiction started during his college years. The addiction took a hold of his life, affecting his grades and his personal relationships. He began to lose sight of his goals, his dreams, and his sense of self. It was only when he hit rock bottom that he realized the magnitude of the problem and sought help. These individuals, like many others, embarked on a journey to recovery. It was not an easy path. It was filled with struggles, setbacks, and moments of self-doubt. But with determination, support, and professional help, they managed to overcome their addiction. They started rebuilding their lives, their relationships, and their self-esteem. They learned to cope with their problems in healthier ways and to form meaningful connections with others. These stories are a sobering reminder that pornography addiction is a real issue with real consequences. Now that we've heard personal accounts, let's delve into the science behind these experiences. Imagine your brain as a complex network of highways with information zooming back and forth. Every experience, every thought, every emotion you have is a car on that highway. Certain experiences like the consumption of pornography can be like a traffic jam, causing significant changes in the brain's structure and function. Studies have shown that persistent exposure to pornography can lead to physical changes in the brain. These changes could be likened to a detour on our highway, rerouting the normal flow of information. This rerouting can lead to a range of consequences, including mood swings and personality changes. It's like a disruption in the usual traffic pattern, leading to unexpected and often undesirable destinations. Furthermore, this detour can also affect our relationships. It's as if the GPS that guides our interactions with others has been tampered with, leading us astray and causing confusion and miscommunication. This is not just a metaphorical journey, but a scientific fact. The National Center on Sexual Exploitation, a leading voice against sexual exploitation, has been instrumental in shedding light on these issues. 
Their work has helped us understand the profound impact of pornography on the brain. Through their extensive research and over 300 member organizations, they have managed to achieve more than 100 policy victories since 2010. Their efforts underscore the gravity of the issue and the urgent need for change. In a nutshell, the science behind the screen is a compelling narrative of how pornography can physically alter our brains. It's not just about the emotional or relational impacts, although those are significant. It's about tangible, measurable changes in our minds that can alter how we think, feel, and connect with others. Scientific research confirms it. Pornography not only affects our relationships and emotions, but physically alters our brains. So where do we go from here? Understanding is the first step towards change. And change is what we're standing at the precipice of. The power to transform the narrative around pornography lies within each one of us. It begins with education. It begins with understanding the profound effects pornography has on the brain, on our relationships, and on society as a whole. It's about supporting organizations like the National Center on Sexual Exploitation, who are at the forefront of this battle against sexual exploitation. They're not alone. There are over 300 member organizations standing alongside them, advocating for policy changes and achieving victories that are changing the landscape of this issue. But it's not just about policy changes. It's about personal responsibility. It's about being accountable for what we consume and understanding that our choices have far-reaching implications. It's about fostering a society that respects and values the dignity of all individuals, free from the harmful effects of pornography. It's a tall order, yes. But it's a worthy cause. And it's a cause that needs you. Remember, the impact of pornography starts in the brain, but it doesn't have to end there. Together, we can make a difference.